Hey everyone, today we're here in Rutland, Massachusetts, checking out their abandoned prison camp. We're going to see what we can find here. This here is the first thing we're going to check out. This is what we call the fruit cellar. Massachusetts bought nearly a thousand acres of land here to build their prison camp. It's for prisoners of minor offenses. They had to take care of farm animals, raise them, plant crops. This building here, underground, was to keep the vegetables fresh because it's nice and cold inside. There used to be metal bars here locking this thing off, but they have since been ripped down. I was here about a month ago. Stumbled upon the place by accident. Had no idea what it was. But now I'm back here to take a look at it. Got a lot of fire damage in this place. On the roof, people set fires in here. Up there you can see some really heavy rebar. As if there used to be a hatch. Maybe a vent. Whatever this thing is, wasn't here last time. Got a small fire pit. People setting off fireworks in here. This place is awesome. Somebody threw their whole stereo system in here. A lot of broken glass. Our next place to check out is right over here. Solitary confinement. This is the solitary confinement building, which has six cells. First cell here, see that massive latch of where they would lock the door. Got the hinges here. Used to be a heavy metal door. Go inside. Not too big. Imagine when that door gets shut. Got this small air hole. The floor actually feels hollow. Lots of broken glass. That was not here a week ago. Coming on out. The rest of the cells are nowhere near being intact. People vandalizing the place have broken the ceiling in every single one. Around back. Both of them have a broken ceiling. Also has a broken ceiling. And over here, also broken ceiling. Let's go take a look on the roof. People have actually stacked up a pile of rocks to get up here onto the roof.
Here we are standing on top of solitary confinement. There's that little hole. I guess the air vent may have also been a roof drain. Solitary confinement up there. That's the yard. Got the remains of that tall wall. Judging by the trail, a lot of people come over to this. The end of their drainage tunnel. Definitely got to go check that out. All right, let's try going inside. Looks like nothing more than just a culvert. See some metal reinforcements in the ground above it. But it looks like over the years a few people have just unluckily fell into it or probably just vandalized the tunnel. You see where there's daylight? I think people just broke it like they broke the ceiling on the solitary confinement building. It's incredibly insulated in here. You would think this place would be echoey, it's not. Small hole. Every picture of this place I've ever seen, it's had about six inches of water in here, so it looks like I wore boots for nothing. This area does have a 10 inch rain deficit this year. Everything's pretty dry. Look at all the erosion on the bottom of this culvert. Got a bird's nest right there. Big hole busted through the ceiling. That might have just crumbled and fell in itself. But that is pretty thick concrete. Too bad it doesn't go that far. Look at all the bullet holes in that barrel. It looks like a, this tree might be responsible for some of this damage. You can see they have that rebar that's more of a screen. Everybody calls this the drainage tunnel. In a sense, it's drainage. The way it's set up, it looks more like a long septic tank, actually. Got four tires in here. Somebody dumped. Whoa. Got a frog in here. What do we got? Yeah, you see all this small hole right here? Goes into this big tunnel. I think this is more of a septic system that I'm standing in right now. The way it's shaped, built. Because why would they put a tunnel this big after that small pipe? It's more likely 
septic than anything. And you see how the end is closed off? It's more likely this was made to fill up. Still looks pretty good. Abandoned for 90 years. Place shut down in 1934. Now, where did this wall come from? Maybe they tried to block it off. Or I think maybe it continued and they slid this in here trying to stop people from going in here years ago. But now it's open to the public for exploring. There is graffiti absolutely everywhere, but also since I've been out here this morning, it's nearly 12 in the afternoon. I haven't seen anybody here except a bunch of park rangers driving around the place. Now, I definitely got to find that hospital building in the woods. I'm going to spray myself down for ticks because there's no trail. It doesn't look like anybody really visits that place. This road looks pretty nice here, but the way out here is pretty rough. The hump in the road sometimes is so high you just gotta drive off to the edge. By the looks of it, this place was blocked off for quite a while after the tropical storm. A lot of tree damage. A bunch of tent caterpillars. Wrecking the trees here. This is the digital map I'm using. Here's a vegetable cellar where we just were. Here is solitary confinement. Right behind us is what they call the yard. Now we're going to go for a little walk over to the hospital. This lonely trail going out in the field. Pretty overgrown. There is a small building here, which by looking at the map appears to be the superintendent's office. Piece of a toilet. Here's the hospital. Walking around on top of the foundation. It's this big area. With a whole bunch of pillars in the middle that would have helped support it. This is down into the cellar of the place. Wasn't a basement. Looks like one good foundation. Yeah, look at that. That whole area down there is collapsed. Incredible. Just found a way down into the basement. So all these pillars would have been holding up the first floor of the place. And beyond that, just a wood frame. So we now have the small walkway in the basement. 
go in between the wings. Because if you looked at this place from above, it would look like a giant U-shape. Now this area, just look at all these rocks. This whole place was abandoned back in 1934 because all this land became the drinking water shed. This, all this land here, this hill, sheds its water into the Quabbin Reservoir for drinking. Looks like years ago, this would have been a door. Got a massive cable in there. You see the framing. Looks more like a window, that shape. Unless it's just a door frame. Doesn't look like the kind of place that would have a basement window. This entire place is covered in lots of poison ivy. Look how far down this place continues. Walking through a bunch of poison ivy. Looks like we have another opening down here to see a whole bunch. Yep, it opens up again. This looks like maybe another doorway leading to the outside. And this looks like maybe the grand front door. Got some stairs leading up to nothing. This part of the basement is even cooler. Now these supports are like eight feet tall. These are like six feet, so those must have been the main load-bearing supports, while these ones were just holding up the floor. Looks like a bunch of them people pushed over. And that shows they really did not have much holding it down. There's just a little blob of concrete on the bottom. The weight of the building is what kept them straight. And now we're gonna use that little doorway that we saw a minute ago. The easiest way out rather than climbing over a six foot wall. This kind of place looks like where a copperhead would hang out. That's a rattlesnake. I'm walking down this dirt road in front of the hospital. This dirt road is actually this loop right here and it's completely grown in the road is still here but this loop is right there bottom of that loop in front of the hospital cannot even notice the hospital in those woods because it's summertime but when you get into the foundation it's mostly pine trees so the view you get now isn't too different wildlife management area open to hunting Fishing and trapping.
All right, we're back to the area, which I'm pretty sure is a big septic tank. Right here looks like some kind of hatch. Maybe this is where they could have emptied it. But there's also a bunch of other holes that they could have possibly emptied it. It makes perfect sense that this would be a septic tank just because there's the solitary confinement. This is the yard. This entire area here is the regular cell block of the prison. And it's also the cafeteria and mess hall. Back in those days, I'm not even sure if a septic tank was required by code, but this does look like it. Right here, this entire opening covered in poison ivy is a cement floor. So taking a look at this yard, I'm standing right here. The solitary confinement is here. The thing that looks like a septic tank is here. And what I'm looking at is the cell block. Also has a cafeteria in that building. And also where the administrators would eat. This trail is extremely grown in. We're going to look at the horse barn silos. So this is the horse barn area of the place. Just a bunch of mangled foundations. A few other smaller buildings. But if I take a quick walk in the woods, the dairy house is supposed to be right next to this. Also going to try to find the silos, if that's even possible in the summertime, since the silos are just two metal rings in the dirt that are remaining. I'm sure these people's trails will bring me right to it. As far as I can tell, this would be the milk house where they would be milking the cows. Over here would be their area, the dairy area. We're still looking for the silos. This place has a big echo in it. Just found a little dried up stream that's not on the map. It's pretty cool. Look at all those trees are all just bunched together like that. I'm still walking around in these woods trying to find the silos, but I think it's just too overgrown. I'm looking for Two black metal rings. They are pretty huge, but it's just so densely grown in. This place is even creepier as we get into the night. <laughs> 